Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. I am making our breakfast for this morning's video, but I'm actually making it the night before. So I am making this Sunday night for our Monday breakfast. I'm making some blueberry baked oatmeal, and I'm going to go ahead and just get it in the fridge and bake it in the morning. So I have the recipe pulled up right here. Let me see. Oats, two cups of old fashioned oats a quarter cup of flour, a teaspoon of baking powder, quarter teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of salt, and two teaspoons of cinnamon. I'm actually going to put in a pinch of nutmeg, even though it's not really in the recipe. I'm also going to put in some hemp seed, not in the recipe. Some flax seed, not in the recipe. And some carrot powder, which is also not in the recipe, but I just made some to be able to add to things like this because I have a child that will not eat veggies. And a quarter cup of sugar. Okay. So we're going to mix all this together. In here, we're going to mix two cups of milk with a quarter cup of vanilla Greek yogurt or your favorite kind. It says, I'm just going to use this blueberry one. And that was probably too much. I think these are about half a cup and I just put the whole thing in there, not even thinking. Oh well, I did add the extra. That actually works out perfect because I added the freeze dried stuff. So there we go. Two eggs. Two teaspoons of vanilla. Oh, and two tablespoons of melted butter. I'm gonna use coconut oil. All right, so we whisk all this together. Add the dry to the wet. We're gonna add two cups of blueberries. Okay, and this says to put it in a nine by 13, bake at 30 to 40 minutes if, or at baking at 350 for 30 to 40 minutes. Let me say it's shorter time if using fresh berries, longer time if frozen. The oatmeal on top should be brown, and the top should spring back when you touch it gently with your finger, is what it says. So I'm just going to put this in the fridge until tomorrow and bake it. Hello everybody, welcome back. It is Monday afternoon. Is it Monday? It is Monday. It has been a day. Um, it is 2.30 and I'm finally picking up the phone to like record. So um, I actually just got myself together because it's just been so busy and crazy all day. Um, but we just finished school and so now I'm gonna go ahead and prep our dinner. So at dinner time, I just have to pop it in the oven. So we're gonna have stuffed shells tonight um, and I was going to make some homemade bread to go with it and all that, but I haven't had any time and I don't, I'm not even going to start at this late. I think I'm just going to use, we have leftover cornbread, we have leftover sweet bread, and I was thinking about actually making, um, crescent rolls to go with it because we have crescent rolls in there, but I might just let everybody eat up these breads. So we might just do that instead. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and prep up dinner. So I'm going to get some water boiling to make the shells and then I'm going to cook up some onion and um, Italian sausage. That's going to be our sauce. And then I'll do a filling for the insides. Um, I can't, well, I can't decide if I want to do um, the ground beef like 
or the ground beef because I'm using Italian sausage. If I want to do Italian sausage just like with the sauce or if I want to stuff the shells with them with the mixture. I haven't decided that yet, but I'm going to go ahead and get it going. So last month I had bought two ricotta cheeses because I was going to make something and I never ended up doing it. I think it was because we were sick or something. So thankfully I still have this and I didn't have to buy it this month. Worked out really, really well. So while everything still heats up, I'm just going to go ahead and get the filling together. Hopefully that's big enough. I can't even open it anyway, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, so I got a bigger bowl. So I just didn't think that was gonna work. No, I never even got water to boil. I need to go do that too. Okay, I got the water on to boil. I added an egg. We're gonna add some Parmesan cheese. Some mozzarella cheese. Some garlic powder. Salt, pepper, and I'm going to add some Italian seasoning. So there's that. And now I'm going to cut up this onion, actually, on here. So we're gonna use this meat. This is sweet Italian sausage. This was from a pig that we that was born here, but we ended up selling and uh, somebody that we know raised it and they processed them and they brought it to us. If you missed, I think it was yesterday. No, it was Saturday. Um, I shared a couple of the cuts that they brought and so that was it. And then last night we actually ate some as well. We ate our pork roast from there, but that's why I'm gonna cook up this. So I was like, hey, they just brought it to us. Let's try this. This will be really good in um, stuffed shells anyway. So for lunch today, I made, I didn't get to film anything, but I made grilled cheese for everybody. And Wilder didn't want one. He wanted a leftover hot dog. We had one leftover hot dog and some leftover mac and cheese. So that's what Wilder had. But the rest of us had grilled cheese. But like I said, it was just crazy busy day and I just couldn't even film or anything. We were just getting a lot of things done in school and just everything. So it's Monday. <laughs> Sometimes Mondays are hard. So I'm also going to add some spinach into this. So I'm just using these shells, which thankfully I had downstairs because I didn't buy any this month and I was like looking at the meal plan and I was like, well, well, didn't get any stuffed shells, I'll just make spaghetti, but then I did find these, so it worked out. So I'm actually going to leave some of these noodles plain to the side for Layla. Or maybe I'll just put mozzarella in this mixture her like dairy-free mozzarella and this mixture in it instead of the ricotta mixture so i'm going to do a little mixture of meat in the sauce and meat in the filling the way it's a little bit of everywhere i'm also going to add some of this just because i have these downstairs and kind of need to use them oh I didn't mean to pour that much, but whatever. I kind of need to just use them up. So I'm just going to add this as well. All right, I just added this in here. And then we'll just stuff the shells. Do you have enough noodles for me to eat one plain? I shall probably only eat one or two. Oh, that's what I was looking for. Moo moo! Yay! Uh-oh. Hey! That will make the delicious dinner. All right, so at least dinner is done and ready to pop in the oven at dinner time. Just sprinkle some Italian seasoning on the top and ta-da. Okay, so now I'm eating a snack. This is so good. This roasted red pepper hummus from Sam's Club is so, so, so good. Um, and I don't really like cucumbers, but I like them with this. So I need to get foil for this, put it in the fridge. These are saved for Layla for 
peanut butter. I mean, not all of those. She won't eat all those. But. Um, now I need to clean up this and clean up all of this. Now that that's all cleaned up, um, yesterday I got our new units printed. So we're going to do a mixture of science and history together. We're going to do history on our science on Monday and Wednesday and history on Tuesday, Thursday. And we're going to do rocks and minerals and U.S. history three. So I got all of this done and taken care of, printed and bind yesterday. And what else did I do? Oh, Valentine's Day because we're also going to do that. We're going to do Valentine's Day next week. We end our Africa unit this Friday. We'll be done. Then next week, we're going to do Valentine's Day. And then after that, when we come back from, I think that's our break. But when we come back from break, we're going to start these two. The kids are so excited to do this rocks and mineral, minerals unit because we have this that goes along with it that we went to Sam's Club a while ago. This was on clearance and my father-in-law bought it for them. So I've been saving it to do with the rocks and minerals because I thought this would be great. So for dinner, we're gonna have this broccoli that goes with, well, goes with, doesn't go with anything that I got at Sam's Club or Costco, I can't remember. Um, so we're gonna have broccoli with our stuffed shells. And like I said, I was going to make bread and I never did. And I don't think I'm going to even make the croissants like I had mentioned earlier. I think we'll just eat on whatever we have left and eat that up. So I'm going to put this on for zero minutes because I don't want it to be super mushy, but we just want to build enough pressure for it to cook. So this is the leftover cornbread that we have. And then we have leftover sweet bread from last night. So, and then there's also just regular bread. And then there's also one hamburger bun. So out of all this bread, I think people can find their own bread to eat without me having to make more. All right, so I just cooked this on 350 while we fed animals and stuff. So it warmed up, the cheese melted, and it's done. I don't know how long it took. All right, so here's our stuffed shells, our broccoli that was overcooked because I went outside to feed animals and it, the pressure didn't get released. So it's just kind of mush. And then some, I'd have leftover cornbread. All right, guys, we're going to end our night because everybody's playing sorry. And who's winning? I, me, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe. So um, that's going to do it for us today. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Did you play some more?